hey guys and welcome to today's video so today's video is going to be my top five fragrances for life summer edition so these are the top five fragrances that around summertime i have been gravitating towards to me these are the five that this is all i need i will link my top five for life springtime edition below i decided before i got into my top 10 for life I kind of wanted to do it by season and then from there kind of narrow it down to my top 10. So I do have, cause while fall is my favorite season, a summer fragrances or what I consider to be summer fragrances cause of course that is very subjective. But what I tend to wear around summertime are my favorite kind of fragrances. So this one was a little bit harder. So I do have three honorable mentions because they are three that got pushed out after I specifically saw this scent when I was looking in my because I kind of have like a summer section and when I saw this fragrance it kind of knocked these three fragrances out that I was kind of going back and forth with because I wanted a coconut scent in my top five for life but let's go ahead and get into the video okay so kind of like my springtime edition i'm gonna go by category i kind of like to have a little bit of the same for each season i like to have like a freshy a fruity floral something a little bit more floral something a little bit more like night and then for summer i did kind of want to have one beautiful coconut scent but that got knocked out so we're gonna go over probably my two favorite if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you might know what these two fragrances are but the first one we're gonna go over to me is more of a year-round fragrance if i had to put it in a season it would actually go in spring but because of the time of year that i wore this one this does feel more like a transitioning scent and i tend to wear this one more summer transitioning to fall and that is narciso rodriguez for her the eau de toilette so when I was kind of deciding if I'm going to keep a coconut scent, I actually grabbed this one and I said, do I need this, this scent? Like, am I only in love with this scent because of the memory it holds, which this was my wedding day fragrance, or is this a scent that I just can't live without? And after spraying it and smelling it, I'm like, no, this is a lifer for me. So this is a clean, musky, white floral kind of woody scent there is african orange flower osmanthus there's musk there's um i don't know if it's patchouli i think it's actually vetiver but this is just clean and very classy to me very chic and one that again i would probably wear more like summer nights or transitioning from summer to fall my anniversary is actually september 10th so that's kind of when i pull this scent out is around my anniversary it's another reason why i tend to kind of look at it more of a transitioning scent but to me this this is more of a springtime fragrance it is a little bit more musky and floral and i did recently review this house so i'll, I'll link that vi video as well but again my first one is narciso rodriguez for her the eau de toilette okay if you guys have been following me you know that one of my favorite kinds of perfumes are freshies so i'm sure you guys kind of know what's coming next but another fragrance that i just is a lifer for me is aqua de joya by giorgio armani this like narciso rodriguez for her is a fragrance that i've had in my collection for the last decade i've gone through bottles of both of these fragrances this one is fresh it's citrus it's clean it's minty kind of aquatic this has amalfi lemon it has mint i believe it has jasmine so there's like a clean white floral in here there is like a woody base i'm not sure let me look up the notes on this one you'd think i'd have it memorized by now <laughs> but i don't yeah this has water jasmine this has cedar so that's the woodiness and it has brown sugar now i did go over this house as well and i do talk about this scent and how 
to me it's blended very beautifully so the brown sugar in here i don't get anything that smells like brown sugar but it does add something to this fragrance so i'm gonna link where i talk about this fragrance and more sorry if you hear my dog chasing his tail now this is a fragrance that um i do feel like the newer one i feel like the notes are still the same but i find this one to be much more of a beast i find this one to perform a lot better and i find this one to be blended better than the newer release of this because they did like redo the bottles of these and when i was smelling them side by side they opened up very similar it was more as the fragrance progressed that i feel like this one's just formulated better but this is one of my top complimented perfumes it was a signature scent before it just became something in my collection this is something that a lot of people associate with me and again that is aqua de joya by giorgio armani okay so i knew i wanted another fresh scent but i would say this one leans more fresh floral and this was my 10 year anniversary scent and that is nuda veritas by atelier de ors this is fresh, clean, and then it's white floral with like supporting citrus notes. This smells kind of expensive. This reminds me of like the color white. This like the name, the Naked Truth. You think of a beautiful kind of white sculpture. That's what this smells like. It's very elegant, very sophisticated citrus it's white floral it's fresh there's a muskiness about it i believe this one has and brett so it's got kind of something that's musky but a little bit more on the musky kind of incense -y side to my nose another one has blended very well so i don't pick up a lot of the notes this is a very citrus white floral kind of musky scent very clean and elegant and I knew I kind of wanted another fresh scent, but something a little bit more expensive smelling, a little bit more put together. So I do find this one is one that I've been able to dress up or, or down. But this one is a little bit more sporty, a little bit more everyday. This one does smell a little bit more expensive. So again, that is Nuda Veritas by Atelier de Ors. Okay, and I knew I wanted a fruity floral in my summer collection. I think I'll always have fruity florals in every season. And this was like a no-brainer for me. I already knew I already knew when it came to the fresh category, Aqua de Joya was going to be in here. And I already knew for summertime, my fruity floral was going to be Meliora by Parfum de Mali. This to me is right up there with Delina. Now they're two completely different fragrances. Delina to me is rosy, it's more vetiver, a little bit more woodsy, incensey, sexy. This is more of a fruity cocktail. A little bit more fun. Let your hair down. So this has red berries, raspberry, lemon. There is definitely has kind of a musky fruity floral something about it's kind of clean i believe this one has jasmine so the key notes according to the site this one has red berries raspberry lemon essence rose ylang ylang jasmine tea vanilla musk and cedarwood i don't really get anything sweet about this one this is a musky kind of tart fruity cocktail scent this one i've talked about lalique amethyst lalique it's compared to this one they're by the same perfumer so that would make a lot of sense that one i've always said kind of reminds me of a sangria this one does come off a little kind of cocktail the way that one is but this one i get more of the jasmine and the green note in here because this does have a greenness to it it's not as strong or as sharp as as it is in Lalique Amethyst. This one to me is a little bit more clean. You get the jasmine in this one. This does have kind of like a zingy, zesty opening that probably coming from the lemon essence, but this one's also blended very beautifully. This is like one of my top fruity florals in my collection. It's a little bit more exotic to me. I think that's probably coming from the Ylang Ylang. Doesn't come off very 
yellow floral to me again this one's blended very beautifully so it kind of almost adds this tropical exotic twist to it gorgeous and i already knew that this was going to be a top for me so again that is meliora by parfum de mali okay so before i go over my last fragrance i'm gonna go over my honorable mentions i wanted a coconut fragrance i wanted like an ultimate kind of beachy scent which i feel like i got it but it's not a coconut scent so the three that i was kind of going back and forth with were two limited editions and then i actually settled on utopia because it's not a limited edition so i don't think utopia would have actually won if these fragrances were all still available but let me go over the three we have angel au Corsier. this is the 2020 version and this is by Mugla. And this actually doesn't have coconut, but it has fig, which comes off very coconutty to my nose and very tropical. This to me is more like tropical nights. It's got like a gourmand touch to it. I believe there's praline in this one. Oh yeah, oh my God, this one's gorgeous. I think, cause these are my top three coconut fragrances. So I'll go ahead and order these. This will probably be number one, followed by Disney and House of Siad. I think this is Mickey the fragrance. This one is coconut with like a lime and, and I don't know if it's cardamom or saffron, but there is a spicy note in here. I think it's it's cardamom actually. But this is kind of your lime, kind of watery coconut, slightly warm, spicy. This would come in second. And then Utopia, this is more of your kind of vanilla coconut jasmine scent a little bit more white floral this one comes in third so i was going back and forth with these three because again those two are limited edition and i was like oh but i want a coconut scent and then when i stood in front of my summer fragrances and saw this one i was like no this is my all-time beachy scent it's not coconut though but that is Olympia by Paco Rowan. And this is said to be, or is being discontinued. I hope not, but I still see it at discounters. This one though, this is a vibe. If you guys have watched my channel, you guys know that this smells like the beach air. The beach is empty. There are no sun tanny scents beach is empty and you're watching the sunset on the water and you're taking in the beach air it's the way i've always described this fragrance this is a vibe to me this does not smell like notes <laughs> this is a feeling so let me go over the notes because i know not everyone's like me <laughs> so paco roland's olympia has water jasmine green mandarin ginger flower vanilla salt ambergris cashmere wood and sandalwood and again this isn't about the notes to me this is a feeling and i knew as soon as i saw this one that instead of a ultimate coconut i i got my ultimate beach scent this does remind me of being on the beach but again think of that kind of golden sun sky the sun is setting on the water and you're taking in that salty beach air that is olympia for me by Paco Rowan. So this is my fifth for my top five for life. Let me know in the comments below what are your top five summer fragrances for life. But that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.